Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Miracle 2021 TYM, your test number 5 code C and D. Your test was held on 19th of January 2020 and I'll be taking your botany section. So let's quickly start with the botany questions. Question number 91, select the odd one with respect to the significance of hydroponics. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is soil free culture of plants. So it's a technique for commercial production of vegetables like tomato, lettuce, etc. True. It controls soil borne pathogens. True. It is useful in areas having thin, infertile, and dry soil. It is also true because it is soil free culture. Fourth one, it promotes the growth of weeds. No, it controls the growth of weeds. So this is incorrect. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. How many of the following elements may be toxic in slight excess? In slight excess, the micronutrients or the micro elements, they become toxic. So you have to choose for the micro elements or you can go for the elimination of macro elements. So macro elements are magnesium, sulfur, potassium, phosphorus. So these are macro elements. So the remaining are micro elements and these are zinc, iron, magnesium, copper and boron. And they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. Nitrogen is a beneficial yet non-essential element. Nitrogen is an essential element. So this is incorrect. Second one. It is the mineral required by plants in the greatest amount. This is correct. Why? Because nitrogen is a component of nucleic acids such as DNA and RNA. And it is a component of some vitamins and amino acids. So yes, it is required by plants in greatest amount. Third one, it activates ATPase enzyme. No, it does not activate ATPase enzyme. It is the calcium which activates ATPase enzyme. Fourth one is required for the pollen germination. No, boron is required for the pollen germination, not the nitrogen. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94. Identify the correct statement with respect to the criteria for essentiality of elements. The criteria by which we get to know about the essential element that an element is essential or not. First option, deficiency disorders caused by the absence of an element cannot be corrected by the availability of that element. It should be corrected by the availability of that element and that's why it is essential. So this is incorrect. Second one, the requirement of any element can easily be replaced by other element. No, if it is easily replaced by other element means the previous element is not essential. Third one, essential elements should be a component of either a structural or functional molecule. This is correct. Fourth one, plants show slow growth but can complete its life cycle or set seeds in the absence of an essential element, then it is not essential. If it is essential, plant should not complete its life cycle without this element. So this is incorrect. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95. Which of the following minerals is not associated with the late flowering? It is the copper which is generally not associated with the late flowering. Nitrogen, sulfur and molybdenum. All these are associated with late flowering. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. 